children with no painkiller every single day, 183 women. This is torture. Pregnant women are giving birth without anesthesia in Gaza. That should be a women's issue. Women dying by the scores in Gaza. That should be a women's issue. Caring the about Democrat women's Party. issues means caring about women's issues all over the world, including the global south, including Palestinian women. I've had one of my cousins who I was closest to was living in Gaza and was murdered by the Israeli state. If you care about feminism and about women's issues, the women of Palestine, the women of Gaza need to be taken into this equation. There is no feminism without protecting and, and defending the women of Gaza and the women of Palestine. The D issue of the DNC, it affects everything. It is a racial justice issue, an economic justice issue, a climate justice and immigration. Every time we send bombs to obliterate women and children and families in Gaza, that's taking away from what we need here at home. That's right. And there was a big banner in the DNC last night that said, uphold human rights, uphold the rule of law. That is a joke for the DNC to be saying that while it's this administration, the Biden administration, that is violating U.S. law and violating the Leahy laws and violating international law, these are not the values of Democrats around the country. Every poll shows the majority of Democrats want not just an immediate ceasefire, they want to stop supporting the slaughter of people in Gaza. It's a very simple demand. No more arms to Israel. We're not asking the Democrats to free Palestine. We're asking them to stop sending weapons to Israel. President Biden last night acknowledged protesters out in the street. Great, we have been doing this for a year. Now he must act. Yes, we are pushing Kamala Harris, but what can Biden do in these next six months? That is to end the genocide. We need more than words. Empty promises. We will be fighting day in and day out, no matter who is in office. Because the most bipartisan issue in this country is supporting Israel. And that will not happen in our lifetime. We will be fighting. Genocide!